Hello and welcome to another one of my candle videos where I am the owner of Enlightened Inspirations where I hand make soy wax candles. And today we're going to talk about a couple things in this video before we get started. Number one, we are going to make, I'm going to show you how I made these. And I made this out of inspiration because I know I always thought Seeing other videos on TikTok, YouTube mainly is where I do a lot of like get my inspiration from and try to recreate things in my own natural touch um, is these coffee mug cakes, coffee candles. I am a big time coffee drinker and I absolutely love coffee and I love latte, the latte look, um, the hot chocolate look. So I decided why not, you know, put my little taste onto it. So this is what it looks like again at the top. And this is what it looks like as a whole again. And it's just freaking gorgeous. I love it. Now, um, I have been doing researching with frosting and how to make it, which is really pretty easy the way I do it. Um, I know there's different, I don't really think there's like different ways of doing frosting, but um. I found a very like easy explaining video on YouTube from a wonderful woman. So yeah, that's pretty much what we're going to make. So I already have the candles like pretty set up. So I have my wicks in here and I have these cute little cups that I found at the Dollar Tree. So if you're interested in making candles, Dollar Tree has great cool little glasses. Now I don't like the fact that it's like $1.25 now, but you still get the bang for your buck sometimes <laughs> and also um the second thing that i want to get into before um we had to jump right into this video is the fact that on my website page at enlighteninspirations.com.co if you subscribe to the email listing i am doing a 19 ounce candle giveaway of this big old baby right here um, I made this just out of random inspiration, actually was using the rest of my wax and was waiting for my other wax to come. So I got kind of impatient and I used what I had left to create this when I was looking for more candle jars and stuff like that. Cause I'm not going to lie. I am a starting out candle business. So glasses and stuff are very expensive for me at this time right now while I'm trying to build clientele. <clears throat> I'll be honest with you about that. Sometimes starting out, you just got to find ways that work and they work. <laughs> so, um, also don't forget to, if you're new here, hi, how are ya? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification. So that way you always know when I post a video, I know it's been a minute since I actually posted a real video. Um, I was going through some things with life and things like that. that you know, I always say that, but I never give you the tea but it's cool it's whatever we're not here for that we're here to see about candles at least i hope you are anyway so with all that being said don't also forget to hit that share button with another candle friend a candle lover a candle person who likes handmade candles and all that good good stuff um all this right here in the back too as well is also part of the fall collection i have it hidden away but if you do follow me like on TikTok with Enlightened Inspirations, um, if you do follow me on there, if you do follow me on Instagram, if you do follow me on the Facebook page, I will link that all below so you can get all the good details. You you will see these secret candles. I do give like um, little sneak peeks because sometimes I'm so excited I can't help but share what's coming. So all this behind me and what we're doing today is going to drop August 1st. So you don't want to miss it. All right, okay, all right, let's go roll it. Okay, so some things that you're going to need, of course, is I have the candle wicks that i'm using is dc 26 inch um peter david 
wick. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I have tested these and they are okay in my candles. I've done a lot of testing to see with different oils and stuff like that. And I've gotten feedback with my tester clients. Um, <laughs> they're probably gonna laugh at me, but close friends um, that are testing my candles and they actually work very well. And I've been testing two different wicks that I got because I'm trying to transfer over to different wicks that um, stand up straight because my other ones that I use, I get from Amazon, they do completely okay. They're hemp beeswax wicks. They do completely fine. I love them. They are more affordable um, and stuff, but I, I don't like how they easily bend and stuff like that. I wanted something straighter. Plus, you know, sometimes you just want to play around. And then, like I said earlier, I have these jars here that are um, from Dollar Tree and stuff like that. And another thing that you will need is a mixer. Now, this is previously used to make this, so don't mind it. I didn't clean it up yet, but we're using the same scent and everything like that. I also use um, soy wax that is 464 and I use that it's not it's it's still soft wax but it's not as soft as 444 and I seem to find lately since I've been using it for the wax for about a month now that it does not um get the candle frosting as easy on the glasses it takes a good long time uh for it to finally start to show the frosting with soy, that is okay to have frosting in your candles. <clears throat> so I I like this wax better. I'm in love with this wax more, I should say. Because the frosting got on my nerves. <laughs> and then also I have a little bit of um, cinnamon sticks in here, which I'm hoping I'll, I'll have enough. I was hoping that I would have enough small ones. Because I don't know if I like the big, huge ones, but who knows, you know. It is what it is, it's art. So, and then the next thing I use for on top is this fine glitter in here, which I have all over the table from the previous. And it's a little all like waxy and stuff like that right now. But who can judge whenever you're creating, you know, things get messy. So I also wanna say, if you hear children in the background, I apologize. If you hear dogs in the background, I have two dogs. One's a little chihuahua, and then one is a pit German Shepherd mix. So sometimes they like to, you know, tussle, play around. So, and then, so you also need a pair of gloves. I like gloves because when it comes to the frosting part, when we get to that, you'll see why we need gloves. But I like to wear gloves in general, um, dealing with the oil and stuff like that. And last but not least, you will need a liquid dye, which I'm using cream, which I love how the cream with two drops turns out a little orangish, kind of like a uh, pumpkin coffee, you know, like the creamer. So that's what I wanted that for. And then I also use alcohol spray. You will also need a spatula, cake, cake one, silicone one. I like the silicone ones. Some people like wood, but I like the silicone much easier to clean and you know you will need paper towels which I'm running low and I'm about to grab another one and then you will need uh, what are these wick cutters <laughs> I call them scissors but you know wick cutters they cut the wick they cut the wicks whenever it's all said and done and then this is the fragrance we are going to use from nature's garden I have just enough left for for all four of these candles. If not, I ordered more, so this may be hopefully not a part two video. I should have enough. And let's get to, oh, the oil is warming up right now so we can pour the base of these candles and that is what we're going to do right now. This is also the bowl that you will need which I didn't clean it up because I was getting ready to make more of this anyway. So that is what we're doing. I'm also going to be trying to find a way to reuse 
a um, piping bag of mine. So it's right here's right here. I am going to try and find a way to like get this little bit of wax out of in here that's left and then refill it because it's the same scent. You know, it's not colored. So I figured let's try to reuse this. <laughs> So I will find a way off camera to do this because that will take way too much time for this video. But anyway, here is my wax. It's all poured to its perfect temperature and I filled it to the top so it's pretty full. And then we can start getting that ready. Okay, so we got our wax. And we are going to see the temperature. So I'm also going to put in the dye and hopefully I can do this on camera and just put two drops in. That's it. That's all I need. And then we'll stir it. sorry I don't have like a stand-up camera thing or I can't find where it is so while that is cooling um before I put the oil in I'm going to prep and start um the batch for these candles so here we go the frosting I meant so we're just gonna pour this in here slowly because I need this to get a head start cool as well. Hopefully in time before I go to work. So while that is starting to cool down to the temperature for me to pour oil into that and mix that in, um, we're not going to add any coloring into it. I'm just going to leave it naturally the way it is whenever it gets hard, which is white. So I'm gonna let that cool. I'm gonna check on this one. And in the meantime, real quick, whenever it's ready, I will be back. But in the meantime, I'm going to unclog this <laughs> and get it ready. All right. I put the oil in. I had to do it real quick because I got distracted with this. So sorry y'all had to miss that, but I put the appropriate amount of oil in here. And now we're just stirring it. And then I have to stir that too as well. I put a little what was clogged in here too as well because like I said it's the same scent same wax nothing really changed we just added a little bit more and then the rest of this stuff right here I only put a little bit in because majority of it was still here so I didn't want to overload the scent throw too as well so okay next I am going to try and steadily pour these now I have a shaky hand so sometimes I don't pour these so neat and I have to go back and clean up so hopefully I don't make a huge mess the pressure is on Okay, so now they're all poured and the one that is showing to be a little bit darker, I had to go back and refill and do it again. And um, so one of them is just gonna be a tad bit darker. And then this one I left a little bit lower because this is gonna be my test candle. So yeah, 
I already made four, four, one, two, four, five. So I'll have seven up in the shop, but I need to test at least one. So <clears throat> someone also asked me in one of my TikTok videos, like, how does it burn? So I told her as soon as I got done making the rest of them, I will show you one of my testers. So this will be the tester. I wanted it to be the dark one, but then I realized this one's low too, and I don't feel like going back. Measurements was wrong, but you know, that's the process of candle making is trial and error. So now I know, use the bigger picture. And we'll let these sit. And whenever they're finally done, um, the uh, frosting stuff is still, we'll, we'll, we'll let these sit and I will be right. Now, while we are waiting for these candles to set and I'm still waiting on the wax, um, which I'm gonna bring over here and show you, I had to clean up my spill mess. So <laughs> I'm gonna lay out some, Candle frosting is, is, is very messy. It's very, uh, that's what I want to talk about. Candle frosting is very messy. It's very messy. I'm still, the more I make, I'm sure, the better I can be more clean about it. Um, and find other ways to like salvage my wax. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna go back to YouTube and look to see how to like, is there a possible way to make this a cleaner process? Because as of right now, no, it's not clean. But I'm just getting wax paper ready, putting that down. Uh, and I still need to clean out the bag because one of these candles I have to clean up, it has like wax splatter all over it. So that's gonna be fun. I didn't realize it until I was looking at the candles after they were all done. I was done with piping and stuff. I'm like, why is it bubbly on the back? Candle wax. So I gotta chip that off and clean that up. So I have my paper down for all the splatter porridge. I gotta put one more out because sometimes it splatters everywhere. So you do not wanna wear good clothing. Hence why I'm in my mom attire. And I am looking into waiting on aprons to come in so I can get extra messy. Cause I have a feeling this is gonna be something I'm going to love to create all winter and fall long. So yeah, cause I'm gonna show you again. So let me bring the batch of wax over here. Okay, so here is the batch. I mean, it's still, it's still drippy, still very drippy. It's definitely getting thicker, so I know it's starting to set. And I have a tendency to agitate it a lot. So I am going to um, come back when this actually starts setting up so you can see the process of it. I mean, it takes a good hour, hour and a half sometimes for candles to set in containers. And then here, you know, it takes, takes a good bit. So I'm just gonna leave it alone, let it go clean up the rest of this piping bag and see what I can do. And when it's about ready, I'll show you the each process, like the step of it, um, how it looks until it's perfection. All right, and we are back. This is what it is, sorry, currently looking like. Almost like goo. I want to say it looks like goo a little bit. Try to let y'all see. It's no longer clear. It's getting cloudy. So I'm just going to stir a little bit more. Break it down a little bit. Um, I'm probably going to speed this process up because I don't have the patience to wait. So I am going to get my mixer and we are going to blend this up a little bit. I can show you what that looks like too as well. Okay. 
Okay, so again, as I was getting set up, it's getting more cloudy. So we're gonna speed up this process and mix it up. And I'm just gonna put it on one for right now and see how it does. And then sometimes I'll speed it up, but basically I'm okay with this. And I only got this at Walmart for like 20 bucks, so. Now you can see it's starting to finally thicken up. Scoop all my scoop scoopies, get all around the edges. Don't mind me. I don't know, I find this, even though this is messy, I find this to be very fun. And I'm an Aries, so anything that's like kid-like and frosting seems, making candle frosting seems to be, but very fun. But anyway, it's starting to thicken up, but you do not want to start piping with this, of course, right? You want it to get a little thicker, so I just like to play in it and agitate it. And I, like I said, I don't have patience, plus I have to go to work this weekend. I swear I work like every single freaking weekend. I don't like it because I could be using that for, you know, candle making and all that stuff. but. But yeah, this is pretty easy. I like it. I like it. So we're just gonna let it sit up a little bit longer. And then I'll show you when it starts to get a little harder and look more like frosting. -y. I might go back in a little bit after I let it sit. I might go back and use this again and then I mean, it is taking us close to that hour mark right now, so I usually get it done within an hour because I'm always messing with it. So, and our candles are finally, as you can see, setting up too as well. Um, let me turn it over here. So the tops will be hard enough for me to start frosting. And you can see the one that's darker is more of a cream than I'd like. But the other ones are completely okay, just like, just like this one. The colors do seem to lighten up as they, you know, all the oils and wax and, well, wax is oil. When all the oils are combined back together, so to become solid. And I'm getting this one messy all over again, fingerprints. Um, so yeah, it kind of lightens up anyway. So just part experimenting with candle dye. Oh, it's thickening up already as I'm sitting here talking. That's perfect. So here is, you know, a little goopier, but it still comes off my spatula. So now I know you're probably saying, wow, that's a lot of um, wax. It does take a lot of wax. Um, Cause I just thought about this, like, wow, this is a lot of wax for four candles. Yes, this is a lot of wax for four candles. But when I start piping, you will see why. This may hold eight ounces, but I'm going to overflow it with, um, with the frosting. So you're gonna get more than eight ounces, which we need to go. So we are definitely going to put this bad boy in. In the thing. This is the most messy part ever. So I got my thing here and ready. Like I said, I'm reusing it, cleaned it out. Um, so we're just gonna shove it in here. And 
start. And there you go. Okay, so I had to clean up my storage because my phone is used. I really need to get a business phone. Um, but I did get all four of the candles done. Um, so now I'm going to show you the process of decorating them. Okay. Now I have glitter here, and then I have these cinnamon sticks. And I'm just gonna sprinkle them on top. Now I tried using these with gloves, but I can't. It gets everywhere. And I just lightly dust them. No special direction, just get it done. May add a little more if need be. And this is very fine glitter, so it gets everywhere, of course. So there you have it. This is, well, after I clean them up, of course. So this is just a rough look right now of what they look like. Uh, I don't have time to clean them up. I actually gotta get ready for work. So with that being said, I am and have added a 50% discount for candles that are up right now on my website all you have to do is go to enlighteninspirations.com.co and there you can find discounted candles that are still in my inventory right now the candles behind me and what's in front of me that we made today will not be dropping until august 1st 5 p.m eastern standard time um all of them will go live then i do want to say a couple of things um because i know i didn't mention it but when you deal with the wax, please be careful when holding the bowl and things like that because the wax is extremely hot sometimes at that point. I mean, the whole time actually. Uh, but I almost burnt myself the first time because again, I'm not very sturdy with my hands. I should quit saying that, but you know, whatever. <clears throat> I'm not very sturdy with my hands sometimes. I'm a little bit clumsy. So yeah, I just wanted to give that side note. Please be careful whenever you're whipping up your <laughs> so I actually have I have a great time with making these candles and stuff with you and I hope you did too and don't forget to subscribe comment and share and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on another video love okay okay and with that being said if no one told you yet today that they love you I hold space for saying I love you and I hope you have a fantastic day bye